Summer 2021, Vuelta de España, covering nine different regions of Spain, starting in Andalusia, heading up through regions like Extremadura, Asturias, Cantabria, Castilla León, and finally back into Andalusia, covering over 3,000 kilometers and a heck of a lot of climbing. All right, so here I am uh, about to board the ship behind me there. It's very windy, but very hot. I'm very nervous for some reason, I don't know why. I guess before every travel, I get very nervous, but also very excited. I spent two or three days in Malaga getting myself ready before I jumped on the train to Cuddy. There is so much to like about Cuddy. It is a beautiful city. The beaches, the town itself, the food is ridiculous. But all good things must come to an end. It was time to hit the road once more. It's very windy, start straight into the winds. But hopefully the wind will uh, drop once I uh, get off the coast here. Just flying straight over the lagoon. Some uh, shelter from the wind. It's a nice little section. This uh, it's through forest, uh, sheltered, shady, out of the sun. Beautiful. A little siesta here. Uh, it's still very hot. About six o'clock already. I'm going to set off again and uh, see if I can do a few more kilometres uh, before sunset. And so ends day one, a tough day one, headwind all the way today. Uh, just the last little section before I arrived here for the night. I uh, had a little bit of uh, tailwind, uh, zipped along. It was uh, glorious, but uh, I just couldn't go on. I was, um, uh, I'm feeling actually quite beat. Tough first day, tough. I'm very drained. I need something to eat. So I'm going to cook me a little bit of spaghetti. And I'm going to go straight to bed. <laughs> Well, tonight's fare is very simple. A spaghetti, tuna, a little bit of salt and pepper, and some olive oil.
So no cooking tonight, so I'm just going to do some bread. I've got this potato salad with uh, peppers over here, patatas a la pobre, and uh, yeah, just had a beautiful shower. And this is the view of outside. Look at that. <laughs> of day three just outside Carmona up on the hill there Daily routine is finding the fuente and filling up the bottles. Uh, it's a very hard 20 kilometers behind me. I've just arrived at uh, my spot for the night. It was a hell of a slog to get here. It was, uh, Jesus Christ, the wind, 30 kilometers ahead wind. It just seems to get stronger and stronger the closer I got to my destination, which is this place here. All right, buenas dias. So, you've joined me. This morning I'm just north of Sevilla and I've joined the Ruta de Plata which is a section of the Camino de Santiago and it's one I've not done before and which I was aiming for. Yeah. Ruta de Plata
Buenos Dias from the Ruta de Plata. Just making my way slowly this morning up to the next town, which is now about three kilometers away. And I'm enjoying the countryside. And this is what I've been waiting for. It's absolutely amazing. Deserted, I've not seen a soul for, well, since yesterday morning. A fantastic camp by a small little lake last night. Nothing but the frogs. Gotta go over there, it's literally straight over and down. Let's go. So I uh, found out there's a waterfall about four or five kilometers from this Pueblo. I've stocked up with uh, water, food. My idea is to spend the night there, so let's go and see. Um, I've only ridden 12 kilometers today, but hey ho, this gorge, canyon, waterfall is meant to be quite beautiful, so what the hell man, let's go see. Oh, Lord! The uh, river the canyon is uh, 300 uh, meters up there. Oh, it's nice and cold. And... Good morning, uh, I've lost count of the days, I think it's day five or six, um, so I've just left the waterfall and, uh, and then I'm going to push on uh, a little bit further today. Guys, I've had my little coffee at the Pueblo and I'm back on the road, I've opted for the tar to the next Pueblo, El Real de la Jara if I remember correctly. Um, I just need to make up a little bit of time today because I only did 10 kilometers yesterday. So I just want to uh, get a little bit ahead today. Oh, I'm desperate for shade. The little shade is behind the fence. Listen to the birds in the eucalyptus. Bastards. Bacon. The countryside is quite something, it's beautiful. It's rolling hills, the brown grass. All I can hear is just the wind, the gentle breeze, the birds. It's ain't bad, I tell you. It's been a good day today, Ruta de Plata, up, down, up, down. Did my uh, first thousand meter elevation day. I'm still feeling good, at about 60k. This little spot, purely by chance, right at the end of the day, a little picnic spot. Castle up on the hill, camp here tonight, uh, have a little shower already.
and good morning, buenos dia. Day seven, I think, I can't remember. Once again, the landscape has changed. No more oak forests. We're now into the, I would say, felt. Wheat fields, livestock. Now I've got cattle and sheep. And I'm heading northwards. The nothingness. The Extremadura tundra. Ow! Coast is clear. Hoop! Hoop! This Camino is totally deserted. I'm yet to come across a pilgrim. Hunger is now whipping me forth unto Zafra. I feel like I've got a big hole in my belly. My legs are pumping. <laughs> I need to eat. I'm not far from Zafra. Buenos dias, day eight, I think, and I've just left uh, Zafra. So far, it's all uphill, out of town. It's only like half past eight in the morning. It's already baking hot, the sun is in my face. We're heading in an easterly direction at the moment. The Camino heads east to the next Pueblo, and then it goes north again. I had a good rest in an albergue and a good dinner and a couple of beers last night. Oh, good times. Buenas tardes. So, we've just left the Pueblo of Via Franca and it's not the most exciting part of the Ruta de Plata here. Very flat as oof flat as far as you can see there's some uh, hillage in the distance over there probably where Merida is uh, which is 40 kilometers uh, due north pretty much I think the road is almost straight as an arrow uh, very boring uh, surrounded by a different kind of agriculture vineyards olive groves with a heavy smell of chemicals in the air so they obviously have just sprayed pests maybe I'm not sure whatever but uh, it's not great uh, there's a bit of a breeze coming out of the north um, so it's a bit tough at the moment it's hot of course but uh, I'm slowly but surely my making my way towards Merida where I hope to be tonight let's see Yes, uh, it's uh, three days later and I'm back on the Camino de Santiago, Ruta de Plata and um, about 10 kilometers north of uh, Merida by now. Eight o'clock in the morning I left uh, before the sun came up. Say goodbye to the cigüeñas, the stalks up at the aqueduct. And uh, yeah, I'm into some nice countryside this morning.
from Cap Perez. Uh, I arrived here about nine o'clock last night. Um, I came down to the albergue um, because I'm in the city, but the albergue is closed, but there is this little park right next to the albergue, and this is where I camped last night. Slept pretty well, nice and quiet here. Um, woke up this morning to some very strange weather clouds and it looks like it's going to rain it was completely unexpected it's a bit cooler today at least which is not a bad thing plan was to head into Portugal but I think I'm going to change that right here this is the point where I have to make up my mind that way due west towards Portugal and that way <laughs> north towards uh, the north coast of Spain uh, I'm going to continue with the Camino de Santiago really starting to enjoy it I'm really hitting the beautiful stages now and I believe further north it just gets even more beautiful and of course I'm gonna head up into Asturias at some point um, which I was going to do anyway but yeah I'm happy on the Camino at the moment uh, it's a lot of gravel road which suits me perfectly I know if I head towards Portugal there's not any gravel road riding it's all going to be tar all the way through and I'm not too keen on that the Portuguese drivers are a little bit uh, crazy tonight and up there is the castle of the village whose name I've just forgotten um, might even have a little swim in there it's possible let's go Yes, once again and I think it's the morning of day 13 and once more on the way heading north still on the Camino on the Ruta de Plata and it looks like the landscape's changing it's getting very green a little bit hilly and to the north of me I can see some mountains so it looks like we're gonna be tackling some more hills as the day goes on And now I've just joined up to the Via Verde Ruta de la Plata. Look at that, it looks nice and flat, huh? Let's see. Quite beautiful so far, very green and lush down in here. And yeah, it's a gentle uphill gradient and there's a wind pushing through here against me. It's making it a little bit slow and tough. That's good.
found myself this uh, little spot here. It's uh, right up on the Via Verde, and it's a nice uh, picnic spot. Very quiet at the moment. I've uh, cooked a dinner on the barbecue pits over there using my cooker, and hopefully it stays this quiet. 